Well, the transition from, from film to CR, obviously there's some initial benefits. You don't have to deal with the chemistry. Uh, you don't have to deal with the cost of film and the storage of film. But the, the biggest benefit is the ability to go digital. Uh, once you have a digital image, you have a great deal of flexibility. The Vita CR is our latest uh, CR. Uh, we have several in the product line uh, across our desktop CRs. This one's a little bit lighter than our previous models. It's compact. It's very robust. It does about 44 uh, plates per hour. That's a 14 by 17 size cassette. The primary customers for the Vita CR would be practices like orthopedics, uh, chiropractic, uh, podiatry, uh, private practices. Um, uh, typically these are customers that have one, maybe two x-ray rooms. Um, a lot of times also if they're taking their x-ray units on the road, uh, going to facilities that, um, where the patients are in mobile, prisons, nursing homes, etc. Many of you are probably curious how, this, how the system works. Basically, uh, you're going to go into the exam room, the x-ray room, with the cassette with the preloaded phosphor screen. You're going to do the exposure just like you would with film. Once you've had the exposure, you're going to insert the cassette into the CR. You're going to choose the patient from a pull-down list. Now, this patient list can be pre-populated from a risk system if you have that connected to your network. So you can obtain the modality work list, and it will pre-populate this with images. You're going to, after you've selected the patient, you're going to go into acquire. From this point, you would choose a body part and projection and hit scan. During the scan process, the screen is fed into the CR. Uh, the latent image is read off the phosphor screen. It shows you a preview as it's performing that scan, and then you're going to receive a larger preview image. Now, as a technician, you would come in here and you're going to be looking for positioning. You're going to be looking for over and under exposures. Um, if this preview is not large enough for you, you can go into the full screen mode. And again, as I said, you're looking to see if the position is good enough to do a proper diagnosis. You could also do some window leveling. This is the nice thing about digital imaging, is that an over and under exposure can be quickly corrected by doing window leveling. You can quickly adjust for any kind of exposure levels that you have. Return back to the full screen. Um, if you need to do any annotations, there's some quick and simple annotations that you can apply to the image, and then you hit accept. That's it. It's really just those two screens that you're playing with. After you hit accept, it's sent to your pre-configured um, locations. These are printers, uh, DICOM stores, such as PAC systems, uh, CD archiving. Uh, and then you're going to go back to the next patient.